Last fall, Screen Australia launched Gender Matters, an ambitious five-point plan to ensure that their production funding is targeted to creative teams that are at least 50-50 by 2018. Basically, if you passed our three-tick test, which was if you bring in on the brilliant story side a project which is either a f is ticking three out of a female writer, producer, director, and prota female protagonist, and as I keep saying, and preferably one that doesn't get raped or chopped up, um, <laughs> then you're eligible. <laughs> which resulted in a, a record-breaking nearly 500 applications. Which, and as a result, we have um, 45 new um, brilliant stories with female teams, but covering features TV and online, <laughs> which is fantastic. We also have 13 new, what we call, enterprises, which is uh, awards designed to build uh, women's careers, look at the gaps for women in industry. Gender Matters, I think, is, um, is, is bold. It's, it's um, uh, you know, it, it's definitely a very um, definite uh, example of, of Screen Australia committing in a very real way to, to achieving that gender parity. Australia is one of the first countries to do this, to actually create a policy um, around um, this issue and I'm really lucky to be one of the recipients of a Gender Careers grant and um, my plan is to be working with um, young female writers uh, from diverse backgrounds. I'm very proud to be one of the recipients of the Gender Matters Brilliant Stories area. So I went in with a project with a first time writer director who I've been working with for many or tracking for many years. She had some fantastic short films early in her career and um, her name's Renee Webster and she's just the most dynamic and wonderful and I think she's got this, this really good touch because she's both commercial, she's a little bit sexy and naughty, she's certainly female skewing but she's got really strong heart to her projects and so we received funding for one draft of a project called Her Predilection so hopefully on your screens in you know a year and a bit to come. Yesterday I think something was wrong. Are you spying on me? Oh well we're really fortunate to have you know received a round of development funding through the Gender Matters program and um, yeah so it's it's great for us as like a young female filmmaking team to to be supported to be able to go from you know making short films to feature films. It's nice, it feels like we're emerging at a time when we're incredibly supported and to have Screen Australia behind us is fantastic. I think at the moment what we're seeing in, in the um, mainstream cinema world, the reality is whether we like it or not, outside of um, studio blockbusters, the audience is women probably 55 plus and it's a really strong audience and it's a loyal audience and it goes to the, you know, people go to the cinema almost weekly um, and that, I think, is actually a positive thing because I think there's a lot of stories that, that women are wanting to tell. So, I hope you all see this movie. The, the light has been shone on the inequity, you know, yeah. in, the, in the industry uh, between men and women, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. And I think, uh, um, you know, that it's really uh, wonderful that we have now finally organised to... to, to demand recognition for the impact that we have always brought to the industry. But Australia Australia has always had a much more interesting track record in this than yeah. Hollywood has. You know. I think obviously I'm behind, I mean I'm about to go work with Sofia Coppola, I just came back to Australia, work with Jane Campion again and um, I've worked with Kim Ferrand. I mean I'm all about supporting female directors and new directors. So let's go.